There's actually four branches of the family. It's a sprawling uh, clan that got its roots early in the 20th century as a commodities trading firm. And there is now the Hindujas who are among the richest families in England, as well as the Swiss Hindujas. And it was the four members of that family, uh, ranging in age from sort of 50 to about 80, uh, two, two parents and then their son and wife who were convicted on Friday evening. Can you give us more details about what they were found guilty of? Sure. They faced um, two quite um, powerful charges, human trafficking obviously being the most serious of, of the two. Uh, they were acquitted on that charge, but they were found guilty of uh, exploitation simply by virtue of the fact that, as you just mentioned, they paid their... Uh, staff uh, an absolute pittance, as little as 200 Swiss francs a month. Uh, and as the prosecutor uh, thundered in his uh, his argument that, that um, was widely reported by ourselves and others, ended up paying more, uh, spending more on their dog than on their servants. But it went beyond that. It was the very fact that their passports were confiscated when they arrived. They were working between 15 to 18 hours a day, seven days a week with no statutory holidays. So what it amounted to, the judge ultimately decided, was a complete power imbalance where the Hindujas had the power, uh, took advantage of, of their, their poverty, or sorry, their, their, their weakness, as it were, uh, their willingness to work for, for a pittance. Uh, and that just did not fly uh, with, with what the standards of Swiss justice are. Mm. Well, the family were not in court to hear the verdict, as I understand it. Are they now in jail or will they be in jail as um, they appeal this ruling, I understand? It's a very good question. I mean, according to, like in any democracy, uh, in Switzerland included, they are uh, have the right to appeal and they have appealed this. Where they were are and, and ultimately may not face any kind of a prison sentence if their appeals succeed. But right now, the two younger Hindujas uh, are uh, in the south of France with their mother, uh, who is taken ill, uh, the lawyers said. Essentially what happened is the two eldest Hindujas refused to attend the trial, citing poor health. They just said they, 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 their health would be in jeopardy if they came to Geneva. Um, and the two youngest Hindujas are at their mother's bedside, but that obviously was an absence that was noted by the prosecutor who demanded their immediate arrest. They remain unarrested. They are not in Switzerland. So it's really a very fluid situation. Um, the judge has said ultimately that they should not be arrested even if they did return to Switzerland, but it will be essentially what will play out in the coming months as they appeal as they have the right to do so, to hopefully stay this, this conviction. Do you think their appeal will likely be successful? Impossible to say. There is the right to appeal first in the Geneva courts. If that fails, they can take that all the way up to the Swiss Supreme Court. Uh, and it's really impossible to say. All, all one can say with certainty is that it will take time, probably months, if not years, for them to um, see this legal process all the way through. Uh, and so for now, uh, they, they remain free. And whether they will choose to return to Switzerland, where they have the villa um, on the edge of Lake Geneva, I guess, remain, is up to them. Mm. And there was also a fifth defendant, the family's business manager. What sentence um, did that person receive? What can you tell us about that case? Sure. He was essentially the advisor, accountant that was also on, on, on trial. He was given a suspended sentence um, and I believe will also be appealing. Uh, we were primarily in touch with lawyers for the Hindujas, but I think he will also appeal uh, the verdict as is his right. But what was key, I think, to the Hindujas' acquittal on the human trafficking charge particularly the, the, the scion of the family, Ajay Hinduja, as he said, listen, I'm a busy businessman. I was not responsible for the hiring. I did not sign the checks. I did not pay the bills. All the hiring was done through the Hinduja group in India, uh, and I just happened to live in the house. And ultimately, I guess the judge decided we do not, there is not the evidence to convict him 
of human trafficking because the recruitment of the staff was done remotely. Um, and so he was he was acquitted uh, on that charge, mm. as was his uh, the rest of his family. Meanwhile, the house, some of the household staff filed civil suits against the Hinduja family and have settled with the family. What can you tell us about that? Yes, clearly that was a that that came as um, a sort of a mid mid trial drama. It was something that had been flagged by both lawyers for for the staff and then lawyers for the Hindujas. They struck a civil deal, the terms of which will remain have remained anonymous, but. It was used as, as by the defense to, as essentially as a way of saying, listen, if they struck a civil deal, surely the plaintiffs have now withdrawn their complaint. This trial should end. But the prosecutor was very keen that this continues. He had pressed and indicted the four members of the Hinduja family and wanted very much to see this trial through to the end. So the only uh, actual outcome that was different was that the three and a half million dollars in um, damages that the prosecutor sought uh, were ultimately reduced because of the undisclosed aspects of, of the civil of the civil uh, settlement that was reached. Mm. And Hugo, just finally, overall, how significant a blow is this to the Hindujas and the family? They will stress, and they've stressed throughout, that um, regardless of what the outcome, they would appeal, and they have appealed this. They stress that uh, that uh, their innocence is essentially intact until they are convicted at the highest level, and all their appeals have failed. But it is a damning indictment, I think, from from a judge um, that anyone, whether it's this family or another family, if you come to Switzerland and you expect that the laws of your own country uh, are sufficient uh, in, the, in the way in which you treat your staff, that that is not going to fly. And the Swiss justice, as is perhaps famous that Switzerland is known for, the Swiss justice will insist on uh, sticking to the laws, sticking to local laws, minimum wage, uh, legally registering your staff. And it's a, a warning of sorts, I think, to, to anyone that might think twice of, of crossing the Swiss authorities.